Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN with Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. I'm getting all these phone calls about people telling me that Windows XP is going to die. They're saying it's going away as of April of this year. That is completely false. It's a lie from computer people trying to sell you either new computers or upgrades or something that you totally don't need. Windows XP, you'll be able to use that indefinitely. What you won't be able to get is security and stability patches from Microsoft. Several software packages that run on Windows XP, you may not be able to buy new versions of them because they won't support XP anymore. But as far as the operating system goes, it's going to be able, you're going to be able to run that thing forever. We still have people still running Windows 98, DOS, and Windows ME. So it's completely false that XP is going away. You turn on your computer on May 1st, your computer will still boot up. It'll still work. You'll still be able to play solitaire. If you're happy with that Windows XP interface, there is absolutely no reason for you to change it. Now, the downsides of keeping XP is Windows Internet Explorer 8 is the most advanced browser you'll be able to get from Microsoft. So you can't do a lot of things on Windows Internet Explorer 8 anymore. They've moved to version 11 now with Windows 8, and I believe you can get that in Windows 7 too, I'm not sure. But you'll be able to use other browsers like Firefox, Chrome, Safari, um, and some of the other browsers. And they are completely being supported and updated for the foreseeable future. So if you're happy with the way things look, if you like your solitaire and you don't want to have to download it from the Microsoft Store and put your name and address and all that stuff in there, if you like where your files are, if you're okay using Word 2003 or even Word 97, there's no reason to change. You don't have to change. You don't have to run out and buy an upgrade. You don't have to run out and buy a new computer. Use the thing until it falls apart. That's all I'm here to tell you. I want to clarify that because so many people, I've probably gotten five phone calls this week. Some knucklehead I'm not sure which of my competitors is telling everybody Windows XP is going to go away because he's trying to get a new BMW or something. I don't know what he's doing. But that's it. Windows XP, you can use it as long as you want. It won't be as safe as Windows 7 or Windows 8, but you can use it. If you don't use the Internet, there's absolutely no reason to change anything. We have a lot of customers who don't even use the Internet. They use it to play solitaire, some of their games, um, do some word processing, some reading, and uh, that's really it. There's no reason for them to change whatsoever. Your computer will still work after Microsoft ends Windows XP support. Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. Hey, please hit the like button below. It kind of helps us out. Thanks. Bye.